Okay, in this video, we are going to go over the basic setup of a score, creating a document in Finale. So I'm going to double click on my Finale icon here to open up the program. And you'll see when I do that, that Finale launches a window, which is called the launch window. Here you can start with the setup wizard, go to a default document, open a template. You can also open recent files or open files from your hard drive or jump drive. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the setup wizard button. And what this will do is it'll walk me through a bunch of prompts to see what kind of a score I want. Finale has some built-in ensembles right here on the left. You can set up different ensembles to, to show up here so that if there's a certain type of group that you're always writing for, you can have it stored there. Or you can create a new ensemble. Over here there's different document styles. The engraved style is the professional looking style. The handwritten style is more of a jazz-like handwritten chart font. For most of our projects we will be using the engraved style font. So I'm not going to do anything but hit next. Okay, here they're asking what kind of instruments do you want. If you want to specify those types of instruments, you can. If you want to score for piano, you click on keyboards and then piano and then add. If you wanted to score for woodwinds, you'd find the flute or the clarinet or whatever instrument you want. So these are all grouped by families of instrument. You don't have to select an instrument. You can just do a blank staff. You could do grand staff, so you'll have a treble clef and a bass clef, or just a single staff. I'm going to go ahead and click on grand staff just for the sake of this video. I'm going to click add, so it's there. Really quick, if I wanted to add multiple instruments, I could. And you'll notice that it lists them in orchestral order. If I wanted to change the order, I could click the button here to move it up or down in the staff's order. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those for now. And hit next. Okay, so now we have the document setup wizard score information dialog box. And this is where we type in the title of our piece. If you'd like to have a subtitle, you can put it in here. I'm not going to put one in right now just to show you what it looks like without composer, arranger if you want, lyricist if you want, if you want to put in a copyright. Notice at the bottom. And then go ahead and hit next. Next it's going to ask you several things about your score. What time signature do you want to be in? What key? As you slide up, you will add sharps. As you slide down, you will add flats. And you can just click as well. If you want an initial tempo marking, you can put that in there. And here you can put in the actual tempo. Now it is important here to select the right tempo if you want to have Finale play back your notation in that speed. And then if you have a pickup measure or an anacrusis measure, you will put it in there, check this box, and say how many beats you want your pickup measure to consist of. You can also determine how many measures you want your piece to be right here. By default, you get 31. You can always add measures later, but if you know for a fact you want 120 measures, you can put in 120 measures right there. Click the finish box, and Finale will do its thing, and there is our score. We selected a blank staff, a blank grand staff, no instrument. And 31 measures, we're in the key of G, time signature 4-4 four, four with a 1-beat pickup measure. You'll notice that my title is there, the composer is there, 
If now if I had a subtitle, it would show up here. I don't, so it shows up grayed out. Same with a ranger. I can click on that using my selection tool, hit delete, and it will delete those things. You can do the same thing for score up here if you want. However, when we do a full orchestral score assignment, I would not recommend de deleting that because it will mess some other things up. And where it says score, I don't believe that prints anyway, so it's not really an issue. Here's with energy, you'll notice that our tempo markings there. And so we have a blank score ready to input notes. So in the next video, I will show you three different ways of inputting notes.